Hey YouTube, this is Praxis Prepper. YouTube is full of great videos on how to do things, uh, but I think sometimes it's also great to uh, have material on how not to do things. Uh, today I want to talk about uh, some of the things that I've, uh, I've experimented with and they haven't gone the way that I was, I was hoping and now I feel like I know, I know why in some of those and hopefully some of, the, uh, some of my lessons learned could be uh, helpful to you when you're designing your own things. First thing I wanted to do is my rain barrel system here. Uh, what I, I bought a bunch of these 60 gallon cherry barrels and uh, the way that it works is that my entire roof comes down this tube and pours into this one barrel here and then this one is connected to this little uh, hose splitter that goes a bunch of different ways and then they all uh, go into the different barrels. Uh, now this works reasonably well but the problem is is that when I get a lot of water going into the main barrel this tiny little hose and the tiny little holes that all these valves uh, open and shut are just really like that. Uh, and if you've got a ton of water coming in, this, this main barrel ends up overfilling uh, because the water is gushing in, gushing in, and it just can't get out to these other barrels fast enough. So I end up losing a lot of water that I could collect uh, that just overflows this barrel and never makes it into my actual storage matrix. Um, so what I've done to, uh, to re remedy that is I'm making a larger version of this that just has larger tubes. I've got two, uh, I'm gonna have two bulkheads out of this thing. Instead of having one large bulkhead, I have extra small bulkheads. So I've got two of those. I'm gonna run a three quarter inch interior di diameter hose uh, into a different matrix. And that's uh, sitting inside the house. I've been gluing it up. Let's take a peek at that now. All right, so we're in the greenhouse now. And earlier yesterday, I was working on this. Uh, I mentioned the uh, the larger diameter hose. As you can see, it's a much larger area that, uh, than your average uh, garden hose, which is what I have now. And I'll be running two of these. That works out, I did the you know, pi r calculations, and this works out to an area of 2.3, I believe, 2.3 square inches. Anyway, much, much larger than your standard garden hose. I'll have two of these running into the matrix. And here's the matrix uh, that I... Uh, Created. As you can see, it's much larger gauge pipe, big big hole openings. The water is gonna whoop, flip this around like this. Yeah, that works. Uh, water comes in. Here's the two leads that come in. Goes into one inch pipe. Now the the uh, combined area of both of these is slightly larger than the uh, the area of the single one inch pipe, but still the one inch pipe is much larger throughput than uh, I can get with with those guys. Which again, they're their holes are about that where the, the shutoffs are. So it's this versus this big one inch pipe, which is about that. So I'll be getting a lot more water through. And then it just breaks out to all the, uh, uh, the splits that I had over there. I just based it off that. This time I've also learned that a lot of times I go over to the water barrels wanting to just get some water uh, because uh, the, what, the rain barrels plumb into the greenhouse and they plumb down to the garden but sometimes I'm kind of near the rain barrels and I want to get some water out so I've added this extra little brass fitting here that uh, uh, is going to connect there but overall the whole system just much larger less less friction less restrictions this should work a lot better than uh, what I created initially the next prepping mistake that I want to talk about is uh, something I wouldn't necessarily call a mistake, but if I had known then what I know now, I would not have done it. And that was to buy large uh, sort of pre-assembled uh, solar uh, energy units. I'd, I'd gotten into some Goal Zero uh, equipment, which uh, does very simple, very easy to operate uh, uh, solar uh, energy, um, you know, storage units, solar panels, things like that. Um, it was good because it got me into it. Uh, and maybe I wouldn't have otherwise, so that's why I say I don't know if it was a mistake. But if I had known then how easy and how much less expensive it is to sort of build your own system, I think I would have preferred to have done that. The system uh, that I, I have now probably costs just about the same as my large uh, uh, Yeti uh, Goal Zero system, but it's got so many more batteries, it, it, it has so many more solar panels and everything. It just, it's a, it's a, it's a better system uh, for less money uh, if, you, if you can build it yourself. So uh, what I would suggest that I learned is if you have the means at all, really try to uh, re do some research and uh, see if you can't pull together your own system. I made a video on that, uh, which I'll put a link to right here somewhere, um, about uh, my simple solar system. It's really not as complex as you think, and if you can save a crap load of money and make an even stronger system uh, building it yourself, why not do that. 
Another thing that I uh, found out recently uh, in terms of food preservation, growing your own food and everything, uh, was in regards to rhubarb. Now, rhubarb is a pretty easy crop to grow. It just uh, perennially comes up on its own. This one's sort of flopping over. Um, the problem I have with rhubarb is that I don't really like it. Uh, I, I think in a survival situation, it would be good to have. It's obviously got a lot of vitamin C, just vitamins in general. Um, it's got that, that sourness to it. So uh, if you're hurting for you know, vitamins, it would be a great way of getting them into you. But, ugh, I don't, I, I, everyone says, oh, we make strawberry rhubarb pie. Okay. It's a lot of sugar in that. It's not really a food. It's a dessert. Um, so what I tried is I tried pickling the rhubarb. I wouldn't recommend doing that. I, I, I was thinking, well, rhubarb's kind of sour. It's more tart, but it's kind of sour. And pickles are kind of sour. I've, and it's crispy, crunchy. I thought, wow, what a natural, what a natural alliance there. It was a taste explosion in my mouth that I did not want to be there. It was really, I don't throw food away generally. I threw it away. It was really horrible. So, you know, maybe you should try it, see if you like it. But I would, uh, yeah, keep looking for, for uh, uses for rhubarb. So, uh, do you have any experiences, things that you've tried that didn't work out well? Why not share them with other people? Uh, the way I look at it is... Uh, you know, if we can learn from each other's mistakes, you know, we short-circuit having to try everything ourselves. Uh, I think there's a certain value to trying things on your own. But, uh, you know, if, the, if there's experiences that you have that you'd love to share down in the comments below with other people, you know, watch out, this didn't work out. I think I, I personally learn so much more from mistakes than I do from successes, which is fortunate because I make so many more of them. So, yeah. So please, uh, comment, subscribe if, if you haven't already. Um, and I'd love to hear your experience about things that you tried that maybe didn't work out very well and what did you learn from that? Thanks for watching.